Round five of the thousand dollar project is underway and I have never been so motivated and inspired. For every $600 a year worth of passive income that I build through saving, earning, manifesting, hustling, reinvesting, gets to go and support World Vision's The Thousand Girl Movement. So I have a seriously busy 12 months ahead of me and I'm gonna be doing all sorts of crazy creative things to come up with as much money as possible because for every $1,000 I come up with, I invested. And that investment creates a passive income stream which is going to go towards World Vision and sponsoring a girl. So far the project has a passive income of $5,000 a year and that means I can support eight girls definitely. So I wanna try and support a whole community of girls. So for this video, I'm sharing with you the things I'm gonna be focusing on immediately to come up with at least $20,000 if possible. So I'm gonna share this all with you right now. All right, see this? It's a 600 milliliter bottle of water and I've started filling it up with $2 coins. Now apparently when it gets to the brim, there should be $1,000 in here. So I might even try and do this a few times. So if there's a $2 coin in my path, I'm picking it up and popping it into this bad baby. Market research, one of my favorite ways to bring in some quick cash. Now I've registered with a whole pile of different market research companies, but this is a great way to earn some extra cash. Some of these groups are done in an office, some are done online, and some are even done over the phone, but it's a really quick and easy way to earn some extra money, and it's also really interesting at the same time. How good's that? Jomo, at least one weekend per month, I'm gonna stay at home and do absolutely nothing. I'm gonna replenish my soul, recharge my batteries, hang out with this little one, read books, play with toys, bake things, and it's gonna be really budget friendly and cost effective. Those savings are really gonna add up. I'm gonna be entertaining a lot more at home. I'm gonna be cutting down the restaurants and the bars and inviting friends to come back to my place where we all bring a bottle of wine or a plate of food and entertain in my own backyard. I'm gonna save money by buying pre-loved fashion instead of brand new fashion all the time. Like this top that I bought for $120, pre-loved instead of buying brand new from the store for over $350. These savings really do add up. Also, don't forget, you're welcome to join in and do the $1,000 project with me. I'm even gonna do my own skincare and beauty care treatments at home to save money. Instead of getting a professional spray tan in a salon, I'm gonna have a go at doing this myself. And I know it takes practice, but I can do this. Also, I'm gonna tint and dye my own lashes to save money. And who doesn't love doing their own facial and face mask in the privacy of your own home? All these savings are proactively adding up. And every time I invest more money, I'm building and buying more passive income streams, which helps support the Thousand Girl Movement for World Vision. I'll also be doing Frugal February, where I become the world's biggest tight ass for 30 days straight. I'm also going to be doing some fairly extensive food planning so that I don't waste any money on food. And of course, I'm going to be doing Manifesting March, where who knows what the universe has in store. I'm also going to be selling the clothes that don't fit me anymore or don't suit me to the secondhand economy. I'm also going to be earning some extra cash through websites like Cash Rewards, where essentially you get commission on your own shopping. In fact, I already got $300 saved up in my Cash Rewards bank. Oh, on that note of online shopping, I'm also going to be searching for any coupons or codes that give me free delivery, a percentage of a discount or a couple of dollars at the checkout. All these little savings may sound small, but they really do add up. I'm also gonna be saving money by having coffees at home. Whilst I still love supporting my local cafes, I'm just gonna make sure I try and have a few more at home. This is also gonna help with my waistline because I'll be getting less temptation from banana bread, muffins, chocolate croissants, normal croissants, cupcakes, all those naughty things that I do love to get at a cafe. I'm also gonna be saving money by taking my lunch to work. Now, every time I do this, I save at least $20. 
I'm gonna be using fun money saving charts that I actually discovered by following you guys on Instagram. These really cool money saving charts look so much fun. You essentially cross off each week the amount of money that you've managed to save and you quickly realize how all those little savings here and there add up to some seriously big savings. I'm also going to be saving money by buying Rocco and Apple's clothes on the second-hand economy. They're growing so quickly and Rocco ruins his clothes. So you know what? Instead of buying brand new expensive clothes, I'm buying perfectly good pre-loved clothes. If it's good enough for me, it's good enough for them. I'm also going to be continuing on with my decluttering minimalism mission. And every time I come across something that I don't love, value, use and appreciate anymore, I'm going to let it go through the secondhand economy by using websites such as Gumtree, eBay, and the Facebook buy, sell, swap groups. <coughs> One Sunday of every month, I'm gonna dedicate that day to doing some extra work to earn some extra cash. And only being one Sunday per month is not gonna take away too much quality time from my family. I'm gonna be saving money by using my credit card responsibly. In June next year, I wanna take my family skiing to one of my favorite places in the world, which is Queenstown, New Zealand. And to help save money in paying for the airfare, I'm gonna be using my frequent flyer points, which is connected to my credit card. So hopefully now you realize how determined and motivated I am to make sure that round five of the $1,000 project is a huge success. Now, if you want to do the thousand dollar project with me i would love that so make sure that the moment you find some new savings the moment you earn some extra money no matter how big or how small it is that you proactively put that money in a separate dedicated savings account so that it's away from temptation and that that savings account is nicknamed my one thousand dollar project account and the moment your account balance hits $1,000, you go and use that money to your financial advantage, whether it be paying off a credit card debt, whether it be paying off your student loans or a personal loan, or even like me, investing, or even potentially saving up for your first home, or bringing on a bigger and better retirement. Make sure that every time that $1,000 that you create, save, earn, manifest, hustle, goes towards your financial future, helping make it bigger, better, and stronger. Now, in the meantime, I am so excited about helping support the Thousand Girl Movement with World Vision. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see how many girls I end up supporting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And of course, watch this space.